My name's Dr Gill. I've been asked to do a cardiovascular examination of yourself today. So that's going to involve having a look at your hands, checking your blood pressure, looking over your face, getting to take your shirt off and listening over your chest. Would that be okay? Mm -hmm. So before I start, could I please confirm your name and date of birth? It's Alva Salvi, 2nd of January 2000. Super. So before we go on, do you have any problems with your chest or heart that you're aware of? Super. So if I can get you to uh, lean back, let me just place the bed up. And if you could lean back for me there. And if I could see your hands, please. If you could turn your hands over, please. So you've got a couple of dots on your hands. Um, how long have you had those? Um, forever. OK, fair enough. Thank you. So I can't see any problems there. If you could put your fingers together like so for me. OK, that's brilliant. And I'm just going to take your pulse if I could. That's good. So we've got a nice pulse rate of 56. Just going to move up a little bit higher. I'm just checking how the pulse feels now as much as the speed. That's all good. So do you have any problems with the shoulder? So I'm just going to lift, lift your arm up quickly. One, two, three. OK, that's fine. I'm just going to double check there. OK, super. That pulse is all normal. So I'd like to do your blood pressure now. Do you have any problems at all with the, uh, the arm being squeezed? Okay. So we're going to do this twice. We're just going to do it first time without the stethoscope and then with. So I'm just going to measure for the size. That's good. And if you just lift that arm up slightly, thank you. And just checking your pulse as we do so. Okay, so that's good. So it looks like we've got a systolic of approximately 110. So I'm just going to get the stethoscope. And we're going to do the same again, but I'm going to go a little bit higher up now. Okay, so there's the systolic, so 108, and it's disappeared at 60. Brilliant. Okay, I'm just going to take that off. Thank you. So I'm just going to have a look at your eyes, so if you could take your glasses off please. And just look up for me. That's good. And if you look down, please. That's grand. And I can't see any obvious issues with um, your lips. Can you show me your tongue, please? OK. And put your tongue to the roof of your mouth. That's good. So if you can get you to take your shirt off, please. And we're just going to check over the lymph nodes of your head and neck. So just pressing submental under the chin, submandibular along the um, angle of the jaw, Tonsillar, pre and post auricular, and we're doing the anterior and posterior cervical chains. Pressing around and also making sure we're rubbing the area at the back. And then along and in front of the clavicle. Okay, so nothing abnormal there. So having a look over your chest, I can't see any obvious issues. There's a small scar on your stomach. Where did you get that from? Um, I had my appendix taken out. I can't see any obvious issues with the chest wall. So we're going to have a look at your neck here. So if you could turn your head that way, please. Just having a look. So I can see what looks like um, your JVP, your jugular venous pulse here. OK, and I can't feel it, so we're looking in the right place. So there's an internal angle. Looks all good. So I'm just going to press on your stomach here. Do you have any pain here? Mm. OK, one, two, three. OK, 
and I've seen that moving nicely, so we're nowhere in the right place. So I'm just going to check for where your heart beats on the side. So, second. Okay, just trying to find your heart. And if you could roll over for me. That's good, and then come back. So I'm just going to put my hand on your chest, if you don't mind. Okay, so I can't feel anything unusual there. And just over both sides there. Super. Right. Let's have a listen to um, your heart now. And I'm just going to take your pulse as I do. Okay, so just breathe normally. Just roll over slightly for me to confirm. Okay, that's good. And come back. Okay, and if you could just move this arm to the side for me. Okay, that sounds good. So I'm just going to have a listen to your neck. If you take a deep breath in for me, please, and hold it. That's fine, and breathe normally. And if you turn your head the opposite way, and relax back. Deep breath in, and hold it. That's fine. So we're going to do uh, another uh, special manoeuvre, so if I can get you to sit up, please. And we're going to breathe together, so I'm going to take your pulse once again. So deep breath in, deep breath out, and hold it. That's fine. So stay, stay there for me. I'm just going to have a quick listen to your back. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Okay. In. And out. In. And out. Okay, just stay there for me for a second. I'm just going to press in at the base. OK, so there's no problems there. So I'm just going to lie you flat now. Just lie back on the form, please. And I'm going to press again onto your stomach. So just to confirm, lower down, do you have any pains at all? OK, I'm going to press them together. OK, that all sounds good. I'm just going to have a quick listen there. That's all good. If I get you to take your socks and shoes off for me. And just swing your feet back up. So again, just having a quick look at the bases. No obvious issues there. No change to the nails. I'm just going to press on the bottom, checking the two pulses down here. Good to the size penis. I'm just checking for any um, swelling here. Okay, that's good. And the same again on the opposite side. Super. So I haven't found any abnormalities. Do you have any questions for myself? No. Super, I'll let you put your shirt on. Thank you.